Right now, there are no power lines out here and no internet, but with just one solar powered box, this entire area now has Wi-Fi. I built a system that's surprisingly simple. A hotspot for the signal, a router to spread it around, a small battery, and a solar panel to keep it all running. That's it, affordable, reliable, and completely untethered. This simple self-contained system keeps the whole area connected, even way out here in the mountains. This region gets a ton of sun, so solar is a great choice here. The very first thing I connected was a solar powered camera, but this Wi-Fi setup isn't just for security. It's the backbone for the automatic watering and monitoring tools that I'll be adding next. Let me show you how it all came together. This box is really doing two jobs. First, it's a solar generator with a charge controller and a 20 amp hour, 12 volt battery. Second, it's powering a Wi-Fi router that extends the range of a small hotspot. So both power and internet come from this one box. I used a weatherproof electrical box, which is just the right size to fit the battery, the controller, and the router. Inside, there's a backboard where you can securely screw down components. It even has a built-in 12-volt fan to keep the air moving. I used some strong double-sided tape to secure the hotspot and the router to the box. Since the router runs on 12 volts, it connects directly to the battery. For the hotspot, which is USB powered, I added a 12 to 5 volt buck converter with a USB-C output. The wiring is pretty straightforward, mostly connecting positive to positive and negative to negative. I added a small fuse box, both for safety and to keep the wiring organized. The fuse box helps keep the wiring a little organized, but with this many components, it's a little challenging. All the components get wired into the fuse box and then the fuse box gets connected to the charge controller. The charge controller will be connected to the fuse box, the battery, and the solar panels. On the property, I found this two inch steel pipe, which turned out to be perfect for this project. I cemented it into the ground and used it as a mounting point for everything else. The electrical box can be mounted on a flat surface with screws or on a pole with these metal straps. This made installation quick. The solar panel assembly also attaches with these metal straps. I just adjusted the height and then used a screwdriver to tighten the straps. The bracket mounts to the back of the panel and lets you adjust the tilt angle. Nova joined me on this trip and she was supposed to supervise my work, but she got distracted. At first, I just set it roughly, then I fine-tuned the angle to catch the most sun for the season. This 100 watt panel should be more than enough to keep my battery charged with just the router and hotspot on it. Once the box and panel were mounted, it was time to wire them together. I ran the power cable from the solar panel down into the box, feeding them through a weatherproof cable gland. Then the wires get connected up to the charge controller. Inside, I installed the battery and connected it to the charge controller, which manages the charging and power distribution. With everything wired, I closed up the box. It's sealed and weather resistant, so it can handle being out here year round. This is a great build for powering small electronics with solar power. Instead of a hotspot and router, this could easily power irrigation equipment, monitoring tools, or even a Raspberry Pi. The wiring inside isn't the prettiest, but the whole system is really simple. Just a handful of parts and a few connections. The nice part of it is that all these components are modular. As my needs change, I can reconfigure or repurpose them for other projects on the property. I'm already thinking about building a couple more of these small solar boxes for tools, sensors, and other projects. This one though, will keep expanding. It's the Wi-Fi backbone for monitoring and remote control across the orchard and the property. And when I need faster internet, I can upgrade to Starlink without changing the rest of the setup. The first thing I connected to the Wi-Fi was a simple solar-powered camera mounted right to the shed. Installation was quick, 
Just screw on the bracket for the camera and attach the little solar panel. This little camera high up on the shed gives a great view across the whole property. It's a fun way to use the system right away and it gives me a real glimpse of the property even when I'm not here. Sunsets and views of the trailer have already been worth it. Thanks for watching.